Heath West here at our Treasure Coast Songwriters Festival with Dean Alexander, who I, I saw, I think was it your social media? You said you're a music industry survivor. <laughs> survivor. Uh, yeah, I think uh, most of us are survivors. Yeah. But, you, know. you, you have escaped Nashville these days, right? Well, escape uh, is, is one way of putting it. Uh, yeah, we, we moved down here last June. Uh, for our daughter and uh, you know just starting over starting mm -hmm. over in Palm Beach Gardens uh, So it's a you know, it's a little different you know, just trying to get my, my feet. Where did you grow up? Are you familiar with Florida much at all? Yeah, yeah, you know uh, throughout radio tours and just traveling of course I've been you know a lot of a lot of places in Florida, but I, I would grew up in West Virginia uh, Okay, you know, but I, I, I was in Nashville for uh, just about 20 years So, uh, you know, this is a whole whole new thing for me down here just trying to get my it's not the heat. It's not the heat. It's the humidity. That's, is right. That? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know, Nashville is kind of in a bowl, so uh, the, the the air doesn't go anywhere. It right. Just sort of sticks it's on still. At least down here. At least down here, we got a little breeze. You know. If well, they built too to many the buildings beach. in Nashville now. Anyway, there's no way breeze can get through <laughs> there now. Yeah, I think the long ago I heard someone say that the. Nashville was called the Valley of the Sick. I think the Indians used to call it the Valley of the Sick because okay. all the all the pollen would just kind of right. settle in there and it just stays there. And now for other reasons, it's called the Valley of the Sick. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking earlier, I, I was talking with another songwriter about uh, she started writing songs at the age of eight. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm thinking back to when my kids were eight and they were picking their noses. I mean, yep. what about you? When yep. did you get that bug? I was about four or five years old. Wow. Yep, I remember I have uh, old, uh, you know, photos of uh, watching my grandfather and it, music ran, ran in our family. From my mom's side, uh, they had 13 kids and mm. every one of them played an instrument. So it kind of came naturally. Sure. And I didn't know what I was doing, uh, you know, just banging around and you find a couple chords, you know, you just, that feel good to you and you just start singing stuff until it makes sense. Right. You know. Uh, yeah, start young. You grew up wanting to play the music, make the music. That's I grew right. up just wanting to play the music. I just love records mm -hmm. and then tapes and all that. Just grew up loving, loving the music, and I'm very thankful for people like you who make oh, it. Thank so. you, and we're vice versa. Thank you. We wouldn't exist without you, and so it's a happy little world. So, do you ever get like we do these songwriters festivals, and and I mean, you've you've got some awesome uh, things under your belt, Christian Bush and. Uh, uh, like Kendall, Kendall Marvel. Marvel. Yeah. Uh, do you ever get nervous with you know when you're on stage with someone who maybe has been writing hits for 40 years or anything? Have you ever come no, across I that? Don't, I don't really get starstruck. Uh, you know, I've I've met uh, just about everybody you know over the course of the 20 years, and you know everybody you know they put their pants on the same right. way. You know, they just get a little luckier when they do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more money in the pockets of said jeans. Yeah. As well. <laughs> Well, thank you for coming to our second Treasure Coast Songwriters Festival. Thank With you, you being a local, maybe we can have you back next year, too. I would love to. I would love to.